Hey YouTube, this is your City Watch Jay and bring you news on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship Series Anaheim. Um, they brought up all the info. Um, if you guys don't know, pre-registration is the 21st. This event actually starts the 22nd and ends on the 23rd. This is at the Anaheim Convention Center. Uh, same stuff as usual. Um, there's the address. Um, basically everything, the prizes, all that. Um, I don't think for this YCS we're getting a mat. I don't, I don't think so. As last California YCS I went to was in Long Beach, and we got that tour, awesome tour guide mat. So I don't know. But for, you, for those of you who are concerned, we get for uh, how much it costs. It, the entry fee for the tournament is twenty dollars. With your entry fee, you receive you receive sorry you receive five breach packs of the new challengers. I'm sorry guys if my speech is very bad. I'm drinking water and my lips are super chapped because it's very hot over here in Cali. So yeah, basically all the same stuff as usual. Blah blah blah. Public events. There will be Saturday, the uh, twenty second. And maybe we're not going to be doing any of these on the 22nd, but the 23rd, I actually might. Um, because they're doing their 2015 regional qualifiers, um, 16 players. Um, I might actually do that, I'm not sure. Kind of depends on how I do throughout the uh, YZS Anaheim tournament. If I know it turned out to be pretty good, then I'll join in a couple of public events and I'll have fun. Um, there's tag dueling, um, the ones I might actually do is probably the regionals, because you can still get an invite to Worlds with that, um, probably the Widomat, um, probably a tag dueling depends, if I can get a teammate. Um, but to, for, for the 2015 regional qualifiers, you get... Um, free boots packs and first place kiss, you know, an invite, regional with Xbox in 2015, regional game at. I'm still kind of surprised that they um, are still doing Battle of City tournaments because I thought they stopped doing those for, you know, a couple public events. I might do tag dueling and because you get one, two booster packs and one battle pack per team member. Um, win a mat, free booster packs, and first place gets a win a mat game mat. Um, I think that's it. I might do. That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I honestly don't think I'll be doing anything else. Um, you know, it's rules and all that, all that good stuff <laughs> that everyone likes to look up. Oh, so I think this is new, I'm not sure. Um, um, Okay, so for, for any of you that would like to trade or sell to vendors, you're not, you're not allowed to. Because you can't, can I buy and sell from our people at public events? Um, duels are not allowed to buy or sell from one another at a Yukio Championship Series venues. If you do so, you risk incurring penalties, including being disqualified or removed from the event. Buying and selling includes all items, not just cards or game supplies. Trading is restricted to cards, and attendees may not bring art merchandise or items to defend you for trading. Attendees 
may not. So quit business, hand out flyers, ETC, while I defend you. The tournament organizer reserves the right to, to the limit the amount of cards that can be brought into the venue for trading. So you can't really sell cards to the vendors, I believe that's what they're trying to say, or to other players at all. Um, so yeah, pretty strict. <laughs> So for this YCS guys, you do need a Kazi ID number, well Kazi ID because that's how you enter, but if you don't have one, you can get one on demand, so no need to worry. Um, there will be, this will be live actually, uh, there will be round by round online coverage of this event, including future matches, a photo gallery, deck analysis, and more. Um, even if you're unable to make it to the event, you can still be part of the action as the coverage page is updated with live content and tournament sites. Um, let's talk something else. Um, uh, crap. I think it's all the way up back at the top. Okay, here we go. So, everyone that enters YCS Anaheim will receive a wristband with a number and another band for their bag. With a number that matches to the number on the wristband they were given. So, it basically helps you um, protect your stuff, and if it's in a lost or found, they could, you know, call out that number. Um, Please note that there is a strict one bag limit for each steward or spectator that enters the premises. This includes, but it's not limited to backpacks, handbags, and purses. So yeah, um, I don't think we're getting a map for this uh, YZS. I'm not sure. Um, they don't say anything about it, about a map being given, because I've uh, every YZS, you're supposed to get a mat, aren't you? I don't know. Because always this for the entry, you get five boost packs. And last YZS I went to, you get five boost packs and a tor YZS map just for 20 bucks. So, don't know what's going on here. Maybe they'll put up the mat soon, maybe. Um, who knows? Let's see if there's any other tournament mats. It's kind of, it's kind of surprising to see how long, well, how fast this year actually went, you guys. <laughs> like, really? This year went way fast. Yeah, I don't think Texas is getting one either. Huh. I'm going to go to their... Yeah, I don't think they'll get him out either because it says you just get five breach packs to do with some lions. So, don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know. But if any of you guys are going to YZS Anaheim, comment down below and hopefully, you know, we could bump into each other, hang out probably. I will be going with my team, Team Battlegrounds. Um, um, but yeah, I hope there is a play mat because that'll be pretty fun. Um, but yeah, guys, remember to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you guys are going to YCS Anaheim or not. And if you are, tell me what deck you're playing, and maybe we'll get in out probably. Um, yeah, I just you say to what you say. Signing off, peace.